Okay, hey guys. Um, today I want to show you how to put back a sprinkler head. This is all taken apart. So I'm going to try and put it through now. There. Okay. So, this is a Toro uh, sprinkler head. I uh, washed it because, well, well, I found it all right in the park. Um, pink head. Uh, pink thingy. What was that? What was that? I don't know. Um, yeah, so this pink little head thing. And I found it in the park, so. It's time to put it back together because I washed it and everything. Alright, so first, you need. This, okay, and then this, okay, so all you have to do is put this, okay, this, in there, push it down, you should be able to hear clips. Oh. Put the spring in, okay, just... Slide the spring in. Uh, the seal. I'm just gonna put it in. It. Push in. Next, you want to put in your filter. This is a, I guess I'll call it a strainer filter because it has this little metal. Um, it looks like a strainer. Just uh. Gonna lightly just put it in there. Next, put this down. Next, um, you would want to put this. Just click it. I don't know. You should hear it click if it's uh, brand new. Um. Okay, so. I'm gonna screw this in, and then do all your adjustments. Cause this one, this one's a, uh, what's it called? Forgot what it's called, but you like you can turn it and everything. It's cool. Next is a your little thing that will go onto this. I don't know what it's called, but it's gonna. Pop it on so it doesn't fall out, or, well, and then, then you can just put it in the body, there you go, and screw it back on, but, or, you can put it in the body, just like that, take this, put it over, and then just turn it on, and it'll connect together. Uh, when the water turns it back on. So there is going to be like a, just a tiny bit of like a leak. Maybe for about like three seconds. Then it'll pop on and be back in normal position. I forget to get this. Alright, there you go. So there it is. Fully connected. You want to screw this thing on. And then you can get this. PVC. <sighs> Clean. And I've used this pipe a little bit. So, clean the pipe. You don't have to do this, but this has been through recycled water, so. I'm gonna clean. Okay. Then put put this turn and and this would probably be underground. And there you go, working your head.
And uh, this would actually probably be underground because like water would come up through here. Other lines would probably be right here. And then this one connects to the sprinkler head. Now taking it apart, pretty easy. So first, unscrew this. Push down. Okay. Take the nozzle off. Take out the filter. If you just let's do that. Spring, take off this, and then there you go. It's all taken apart, except this. Okay, now it is. Okay. So yeah, guys, this is how to replace the sprinkler head, and it also works with uh, Rainbird. This one uh, is a Toro. Um, 570 series, so, and this, uh, is a Rainbird 1800, but you can do it on all sprinkler heads, so, shouldn't be a problem, unless you're doing it on a rotor, and I'll get it, <sighs> unless you're doing it on a the rotor, these things, you, you cannot take these things apart, okay, you cannot take these rotors apart. Okay. Unless you want to break it. Alright. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, bye guys.